darkest fears become reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show contestants from around the country battle each other in extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize, $50,000. Testing their fears, pushing their limits. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They're extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. When the other contestants see me, they're probably gonna see me as dainty and frail. Looks are deceiving. My strategy is to just be friendly. I'm just myself and you don't like even kiss my butt. I'm not intimidated by any individual. I'm not afraid of anything. There's nothing I won't do. Anybody that's around me, they're gonna get destroyed, eliminated, kaput. That's a wrap. And Holly Berry, you better watch out because once I win this money, baby, it's me and you. A lot of people want to see me fail and start puking all over. It's not going to happen because I'm going to do whatever it takes to win, and I mean, whatever. I am a blonde at heart. In high school, I was voted the most bubbly-headed boy in my class. There's a lot of people back home rooting for me to win this show, but honestly, I'm doing this for myself. I am small, but I can play with big boys. I want this money bad. I just want to prove to myself that I'm a badass. I don't need to prove it to anybody else because they all know how wonderful and great I am. I am a winner. <laughs> I've had a lot of great experiences in my life, but a lot of things have prepared me to really conquer something big. My girlfriend's a really big inspiration for this show. She's been telling me from day one that I could do this. I'm going to win it for her. What's up? Hi. What's going on? What's happening? What's up? Welcome. Thank Welcome you. aboard. Everybody Doing cool? Great. All right, all right. Ready. Excited. You six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you'll have to complete three extreme stunts stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. Try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. Ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here it is. You will each be locked in that car as it rotates through the water. On go, you will have to grab a key, unlock the two locks, make your way to the back seat to release a flag, and then swim to that buoy to stop the clock. The slowest man and the slowest woman will be eliminated today. The rest of you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the money. We have randomly selected today's order, and Elizabeth, you are lucky number one. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Come with me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> what do you think? I think Elizabeth's going to do all right. One of y'all is going home anyway. So. Yeah, and it's you. Yeah, so. that's the first one's going to be you. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. Oh my god! All right, Elizabeth, you're up first. What do you think? I can do it because I'm strong. I screwed the screws tight, extra tight today. Okay. <laughs> uh, I understand that you have some crazy contortion abilities. Well, I mean, I was a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, what can you do? Show me what you can do. Like. Oh, this is... 
peanut like protein that? for a family like, show. That's the split. <laughs> that, is that what that is? Uh -huh. Wow, was that fun? Yeah, well, I love to perform. I love a challenge. Lucky for you, you're on Fear Factor. Remember, she's a cheerleader, so she's got a lot of yeah. pep on her. You never, never underestimate the power no. of a small woman. She's out of here. You don't know, you don't know. Oh, sweetie, come on, stop you talking. You're the see? first one who's gonna go home. Watch you're out. the cockiest of all of us. Out. You definitely have to go home. Watch out. Too much talk, baby. Watch out. Too much talk. Watch out. The other girl with the big boobs, I know that she's a pretty strong girl, even though she seems kind of like a bimbo. Do you think she seems like a bimbo? I think she might appear that way. To you a little bit? Stereotypically, perhaps. Stereotypically, perhaps. Yowza. Do you hate me, Joe? No, Einstein, <laughs> I love you. You ready to do this? Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> no, not at all. Are you ready? Yes, I'm all ready. All right, Elizabeth, good luck to Thank you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> so uh, what do you think about Elizabeth? I think she's gonna do all right. I think she'll pull it off. You see her pull those cheerleader moves? I mean, come on, she can use that in the car. I can do this. All right. All right, folks, she is starting it off. Here we go with Elizabeth. Remember, one of you ladies and one of you men are going home. In three, two, one, go! She's off! It's very disorienting. Come on, Elizabeth! Oh, when it spins around like that, you have a short amount of time to catch your breath. She's still gonna see she ain't out yet. She's going for the locks. That water's freezing cold, too. Oh, She's still back there. She's still in the seat. Come on, girl. She's still in there. She gonna make it. She's got some lungs. She's got it. She's got this. 45 seconds in. She's gasping for air each time. She's quitting. She's still in, the car. She's still in there. She quit. Did she? She done? That's it. I quit. Yeah. That's a wrap. That was unbelievably hard. I could not get the key in the lock. My body went into panic mode. I had to get out. Hi, guys. Elizabeth, what happened? I could not get that damn lock undone. You asked me earlier if my screws were loose. They're definitely not straight now. <laughs> no, I never brought you up screws. Your screws are loose. You brought up your own screws. Okay. You talked about tightening well, some things up. They're loose now. Are you gonna go become a crazy person and blame Fear Factor for the rest of your life? Joe, I was already a crazy person. We really? But I'm crazier now. That's crazy. And do you want to know something gross? What? Tell me something gross. I peed! <laughs> she peed in the pool. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, she warmed up the pool for us. That's how I would look at it. All right, Elizabeth, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you Take too. Take it easy. Bye -bye. You miss me too much. Mwah, good luck. Bye. I can't believe I didn't win. I'm not used to losing. I don't play to lose. I never would have thought I would go home on the first day. All right, Paola. That's not gonna happen to you, is it? I don't care how long it takes me. I don't care how much I'm under the water. I'm not quitting. You ready, Paola? I am ready. Come Let's with me, do my this. dear. Okay, you got it, Paola. Yeah. I just hope that mouth doesn't get her into trouble. She is definitely like a feisty little firecracker. She's definitely excited. Paola. Yes. Now, I understand you had a, an unusual event. I have a little baby ferret, and my mother-in-law has a wonderful parrot that she adores. My ferret got inside, and unfortunately... He killed the parrot? I'm not going to say he killed. That sounds a little bit too harsh. Is the parrot dead? Yes. Did the ferret bite the parrot, and then yes. the parrot died? Then he killed the parrot. Jeez. Oh, no, Whiz. not my baby. Would no, you not your don't baby? He didn't that. do it? Maybe no. it was just parrot slaughter? It's only me and her now, so if we both pass, we both get to move on, unless one of us quits. I don't think you're going to make it either. Why are you so mean to me, baby? It's not about being mean. It's just you didn't come here to win. I came here to you be myself. You came here to have fun. That doesn't mean I don't have anything packing, all right? <laughs> this is for Bebito. Bebito, that's his name? Bebito. Because that was my name when I was a parrot, I commit suicide. <laughs> you ready? I am ready, Joe. Good luck. Thanks. All right, what's going to happen here? She's a tough gal. She talks like she's tough. Yeah, she talks tough. Anthony, what do you think about the fact that she called you cocky? I'm just trying to get in her head, trying to psych her out. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. All right, here we go. She is ready to get set in the water. All right, here we go in three, two, one, go! Come on, Paola! She's under. She's got the key. She's working on it. Seems like 
think it got slower when it's under. That's right, to drown you. Looks like she might have gotten a lock. She's definitely got one. She's taking big <gasps> deep breaths every time she goes under. She's working on number two. That's the two. She's got it off. She's going to the back. She released the flag. She's out. <gasps> Seconds. She got it, she got it. It's it's doable. You wanna do it right now? Woo, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Woo. Don't think she's gonna make it? She's gonna float to the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's brutal, man. That's, that's brutal. brutal. <laughs> All right, Monique, what do you think about the stunt? It really doesn't look that bad. Now, you have a four-year-old son. Yes, I do. And does your son watch Fear Factor? Sometimes he gets a little scared, but he's definitely going to watch Mommy. Do you want to say hi to him? Hi, Bradley. You going to win Mommy's for him? Mommy's going to do it for you. Yes. All you have to do is complete the stunt. It doesn't matter how much time it takes you. You ready? Yes. Good luck. Ready? Thank you. Welcome back, Paola. <laughs> Whoa. I did, it, I did it, I did it, I did it. In your face, Billy, in your face. Wow. Everybody yes, else yes, got a hug yes. with you. I saw you wanted to get a little hug. Yeah, is that right? You did. I ain't worried about it, man. 50,000 is better you than You better hug. be worried. All right, let's see if Monique can pull it off. All right, Monique, here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right, she's off. She's under. She's not gonna pull it off. She's got the key. She can't do it. Did she quit? She's quitting? No way. Did she quit? You'll each be locked in that car as it rotates through the water. You will have to grab a key, unlock the two locks, make your way to the back seat to release a flag, and then swim to that buoy to stop the clock. She's got the key. She's quitting. She's quitting. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. After one time oh around. <laughs> yes. Woo. Wow. Monique, what happened? I wasn't thinking about breathing. I was paying attention to the key and how I'm going to get the key undone. You panicked. Yeah, I panicked. Fear was a factor. Sayonara. Sayonara, Take care. Bye bye. It's okay. Say bye bye. I'm pretty disappointed in myself that I didn't make it through the first stunt. I came here to have a good time and to experience something new, and I lost. And you know what? I am a great loser, baby. What do you think, man? Two people have failed. You're not gonna fail? Not gonna fail, no. So what do you do for a living, man? I uh, work sales. So you sell women's clothes? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's pretty good money, though. <laughs> Didn't you used to work for NASA? Yeah, as an assistant to the director of the research center of NASA. Wow. Did they call you Space Cowboy? No, they didn't call me no? Space Cowboy. Do you wish they did? Now Secretly? I do, yeah. Secretly? Yeah. yeah. Ready to cowboy up? I'm definitely ready. Good luck, sir. Thanks. All right. All right, how's Cowboy Dave going to do here? He's not incredibly determined. I'm telling you, when you grow up like that, like a little Cowboy Dave, you get used to taking some abuse. That guy's probably a lot tougher than you think. All right, Cowboy Dave, starting up for the guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. He's reaching for the key. He's got it. He's working on it. He's working on the lock. Looks like he might have gotten one. Oh, he might have taken the water in on that one. Uh, Cowboy Dave is tougher than you think he is. He's got the second one. He's not quitting. He's hanging in there. All right, he's out. He's got the flag. He's in the back seat. He's in the back seat. He's unhooked it. Now he's making his way out of the car. Oh, here he comes. He's out. He's out. Cowboy Dave shows you what he's made of. Anthony, you're next. I'm ready. Pale, any advice for him? Don't get too cold. Don't worry. 
You ready? I'm good. Come on, man, let's go. I lose. Get out of here. All right, Anthony, you and Paola are becoming good friends? That's all she thinks about is me. You think so? Everybody up there is worried about me. Everybody up there wants me off the show. Really? He's annoying me completely. I got you. I don't like him. Yep. He's so cocky. All right, Anthony, what do you do for a living? I work with wireless technology. This is pretty low tech. Keys, flag, buoy. That's it. I can take it. You can take the pain? I'm ready, baby. Good luck, Anthony. Thanks, man. All right. All right. $50,000 on the line, baby. All right, Anthony's in place. Time to beat it's 113.9. In three, two, one, go! Deep breath. He's going under. Looks like he got a good breath. He's working on the lock. He's not going to want to quit. Took his second breath. He is still working on the lock. He's got the first lock. Going under for a third time. Sounds like he took a little water in. All right, he's got both the locks off. He lost the key for a second. He got the flag. He's a little disoriented. Here he Good, comes. Play, play. He's trying to figure out how to win. All right, he's out. Oh. All right, let's see how he can Here swim. He let's see. Come on, Anthony. Time. 103.9. She beat you. He got beat by a girl on national TV. Y'all don't want this. All right, Ryan, this is it. You are the last man up. It's pretty cold water. It's going to be really hard for you to breathe, really hard for your body to hold oxygen, your lungs constrict. You freaking out about that at all? No. You know what you have to do, 113.9. Sorry, Cowboy Dave. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Welcome <laughs> back, Anthony. That's how you do that. That's how you do that, baby. That's I how you do that. I beat you, what? sweetheart. Hey, what? I ain't worried you about you. You should be worried. I ain't worried about you. Worried about me. She did beat you on time. She got me on time, but that's all right. Of course it has to be all right, little no. wimp. All right, here he goes. Ryan's time to beat is 113.9. He beats that cowboy Dave. It's over for you. Ooh, it's cool. I'm going to button up a butt just watching it. Here we go. In three, two, one. The water temperature has dropped. It's freezing. He's struggling. Oh. Freezing cold water. He's gonna quit. He's gonna be out. He's gonna be out. This is where the fun begins. He's got the first one. Yeah, buddy, you gotta hold your breath. He's working on it. Number two. Over the flag. He got it way quicker than anybody else. He's out. Come on, Ryan! Time! Cowboy Dave, I'm sorry. He beat you. 48 seconds is his time. That's it for you. It was very nice meeting you. Good seeing here. Take it easy, man. I'm really upset that I'm just gonna have to go home face all my friends and let them know that um, I didn't make it to the end. I'm going back home a loser. But I know in my heart that I finished the stunt at least. So at least I'm not a total loser, right? Ryan, congratulations. Yeah. Your time Woo, was 48 good, seconds. You got the fastest time here. Faster than Anthony, faster than Paola. That's you okay. sent Cowboy Dave home. We are now down to three, moving on to the next round. All right, let's get out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for you guys. Ooh, ready? Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, baby. I think my biggest competition is Paola. She definitely seems the most focused and determined. Anthony talks a big game, but I'm not intimidated by his grunts and his moans and his banner. It's really not doing anything for me at all. I want Anthony to puke his guts out on national TV, and I will be laughing the whole time. I laughed all night knowing that I had beat him, and I will laugh again today knowing that I will beat him again. I'm in a freaking zone, man. These cats don't know what they got in store. There ain't nothing I'm afraid of. There ain't nothing I won't eat. There ain't nothing I won't do. I'm ready to go. Let's get crunk up in here, man.
いらっしゃい What's up? What's up, Joe? How's it going? How you guys doing? Hi, Joe. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you guys like sushi? Love sushi. My favorite. Is it really your favorite? Anthony, are you a sushi eater? No, I've never had sushi in my life. This is going to be an interesting first time. Paola, how are you feeling? I'm a little bit nervous. She's not ready to be here, Joe. She's not ready. If I wasn't ready, I wouldn't be here. Anthony, she's starting ready. early. Look at this. She's ready to go home. psychiatric problems, Joe. If you Does haven't really? noticed it by now, Ryan, that money's just, mine, man. Are you just sitting back and just letting these two squabble? I'll be over here waiting to eat. You guys were all battling each other yesterday. Meanwhile, Ryan had the best time. What matters is who goes home with $50,000, and that's going to be me, Joe. Wow. That's all that matters. I'm ready. Are you all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, today, you guys are going to experience sushi Fear Factor style. <laughs> And this is how it's going to work. Written on those boards are a number of different sushi dishes made with various disgusting Fear Factor ingredients. You will have to pick two numbers from that board. And since I'm assuming you guys can't read Japanese, can you read Japanese? No. No? No one? No. Okay. You'll be picking blindly, and you will have to eat whatever two dishes a sushi chef serves you. If you can consume your two dishes within the allotted time period, you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. If you cannot, you will be eliminated. And we have randomly selected today's order. And Anthony, you, sir, are lucky number one. Let's do it. What looks good up there? Number one. That's a bold choice. All right, that was one. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. It's looking good so far. A little sticky rice. It's not so bad. Nah, it's not too bad. Oh, maggots. Oh. Oh. Your favorite. Oh. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Oh! oh. Giant Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Nice. Oh. Those legs kicking. It's a cockroach and maggot roll. I see that. It's, very, it's a very common dish. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Nice. Nice. Very nice. All right, Anthony, is that look good? Yeah, that's fantastic, Joe. Fantastic? That's wonderful. Uh, this is why I don't eat sushi. You shouldn't be so quick to judge. All right, Anthony, you ready to do this? I'm ready. I'm going to count you down. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Ooh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're hesitating nice. right there. That's why you're shooing so hard, because you're about to vomit, and you're gagging, and you know it. And it's coming to come right out, baby. Yeah, don't shoo it too hard. Come on, it's coming out. It's coming out. Ooh, does it taste good? Ooh, ooh, it's crawling around. Oh, it's touching you. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that juice. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. Come on, vomit it out. You know you can want to vomit it out. Come on, gag it out. Gag it out. Come on, vomit it. All right, you got the roaches down. Now we gotta get these maggots, maggots and rice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anthony's crazy. He's down for this show. I'm telling you, he's, he's prepared psycho. himself. He's ready. No, he's gagging. He knows he is so disgusted right now. He If anything is making him gagging, it's so you, you and your insistence Don't forget on to use a little He's got one more sushi there. dish after he gets this down. I'm like a champ. How was that? Is it tasty? Fantastic. You got a little one right here. There you go. Payola, I guess you gave up on the trash talk. It's obviously not going to work on Anthony. There's still a second dish to go, so. Show me your mouth when you're done. Done. Good work, man. Not a roach, not a maggot, all down. Dish number two, Anthony. Number two. Number two it would be. It's a different look. I wonder what that spells. Those are all. Thank you, sir. Hmm, what do we got? Oh, uh, again. <sighs> Some more rice. Hand roll, those are always good. Ooh, maggots and rotten squid guts. Oh, that one's gonna be hard, dude. That's like bait that went bad. Whoa, look at the size of that pile. Oh, boy. And you know what? That's as close to sushi as you're gonna get today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna count you back down for the clock to continue. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Anthony, in three, two, one, go. Rotten squid gut and maggot hand roll. This guy is an animal. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. I'm telling you, Joe, nobody believes me. This guy has serious oh. psychiatric problems. That freaking squid guts was horrible. I mean, I gagged a couple times. That was nasty, man. I mean, no doubt about it. That was the nastiest thing I've ever eaten. Man! Clean Woo. out your plate and you will move on to the next round. You're the man, dude. A little piece right there in front of you. 
Take that. That's it. <laughs> Congratulations, you are in the finals. Is this gonna be your last time eating sushi? I believe this has probably ruined my sushi experience. <laughs> Ryan, my quiet friend in the end, with the best time yesterday. Thank you. You, sir, are up next. There are four dishes left up for grabs. Which one looks good? I'm gonna go for lucky number three. Lucky number three, sir. Bozo. Arigato. Oh, check him out. Speaking Japanese. You say arigato now. Wait till you see what he serves you. Red worms, super worms, maggots, and earthworms. Oh, yummy, yum, yum. You got a couple of roaches oh, in there. Yes, it's a big party in our room. Oh, this is <laughs> very nice. We got one straggling cockroach, though. He just doesn't want to. He knows I'm coming. Golly. Number three is the cockroach with worm cut roll. Yeah, you, you got a bad choice, my friend. Those are all. What do you got, though? <laughs> all right. I'm going to count you down in three, two, one, go. Go, Ryan. All right, here goes Ryan. Wow, listen to her. She's cheering Ryan on. I think she likes Ryan. How is it, Ryan? Tastes like sushi. Wow. There you go. Where are you eating, dude? I would stop going to that place. <laughs> He's got Madagascar hissing. Ooh, just chewing them. Oh! There you go. Just shut it down. Madagascar hissing cockroaches, red worms, super worms. This is pretty bad. I don't know if it's as bad as that rotten squid, though. Oh, uh, but he has to eat more quantity. You still have one sushi dish to go. I mean, not exactly doing this that fast. You got some on your face, man. Get that off. There you go. <laughs> Ew, went up his nose. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, Ryan, you are a little more than halfway through, so you have less than five minutes to finish your second dish. You don't want to get through this and then run out of time, man. Yes, sir. Got all the maggots? Get it down quick. When you swallow, show me your mouth. Done. OK. That took you six minutes, so you have four minutes left for your second dish. Which one are you going to pick? Six. Number six it is? Some bold letters. I got them. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, tarantulas. Oh, my goodness. That is nasty. Nice. At Fear Factor, we give a whole new meaning to a spider roll. <laughs> All right, All right. All spider rolls. All right, Ryan, you have four minutes left. So four minutes to consume your two pieces of spider sushi. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready, Joe. I'm going to count you down. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Go, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Four minutes is not a whole lot of time, buddy. Come on, it's nothing. I tried to eat the parts of the tarantula, like the legs and stuff that would be kind of crunchy that I could get down real fast. Once you started getting to those big pockets where the main body was and the head was, it would just explode in your mouth like a gush of just disgusting taste. So I try to chew it up and then just swallow it. Coming up on seven minutes, Ryan. You have three minutes left. Make it look good. Take your time, man. Relax. Keep eating, keep eating. You're almost there, Ryan. How am I? You're good? Just finish what's in your mouth? Ryan, congratulations. Welcome to the finals. Let's see if Paola is going to join you guys. Which one do you want to eat first, number four or number five? I'll go for number five. First. Number five? She's crazy. She's going out of order. Those are Gracias. Let's see what we got here. Stink bugs and beetles. Yummy. Look how big it is, dude. Oh, he's taking some handfuls. Oh, you don't want to lose any of those lovely beetles or stink bugs. Gracias. Jam all suckers in there. What you have here is stink bugs, beetles, rice, and a fish sauce. I could do this, Joe. All right, are you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Got it. Oh! Got it. Got it. Look at her. Come and collect it. Paola has prepared herself for this show. She's got this. Anthony is quite impressed, I can tell. You're eating cornflakes. Cornflakes. Wow, these two are like a little team this. over here, man. I believe they formed an alliance. <laughs> Anthony, I'm surprised you're so quiet, man. I thought you'd be going crazy right now. I'm not concerned about that. Now might be a good time to puke. Unless it does. <laughs> Paola is strong, closing her eyes, just chewing through it. She is forcing her body to do the work for her. She's not, not freaking out about the bugs. She's money. She's just thinking about the cash. You got one little beetle trying to get away? No, death to you, sir. Down the hatch. Hey, oh, is an animal. She's a good. Lick the plate. Whoa, she's crazy. 
A force to be reckoned with. All right, we're left with no choice but number four. Let's see what it is. Those are all. Maybe it's uh, some tuna. Maybe. Uh oh. Oh. One, two. What is sushi without sake, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, that doesn't look like sake. What you have in front of you is rotten fish sauce, blended squid guts, and squid ink. How's that look? I'm thirsty, so. Are you thirsty? Yeah. So that'll help me get it done. Whoa, that smell is killing me. I'm ready. All right, Payola. Enjoy your Fear Factor sake. I'm going to count you down in three, two, one, go. Oh, my goodness. Look at her handshake. When I took my first shot, I think I almost quit. As I was taking the second one and I was about to bomb it, I said, just one more and then you're done. <laughs> Come pie. Welcome to the finals. Hey, Ola, throws it down in record time. You want to rub it in everybody's face? Go ahead. You did it faster than everybody. I did it. I did it. I did it. All right, it's really starting to stink in here, so let's get out of here and see what's in store for you guys tomorrow in the final stunt. For one of you, we'll walk away with $50,000. Come on, let's go. Sayonara. Domo arigato. 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 Today is Anthony Moss Day. I'm gonna come home with the 50 grand, and that's a wrap. It's one winner and two losers. Guess who's going home? It ain't gonna be me. I am ready to make these two guys, Brian and Anthony, look like wins on national TV. This is for all the women out there. I will win Fear Factor. It doesn't matter how tough Anthony is. It doesn't matter how good Ryan is. I still will win. Competition is definitely stiff. I'm going against two people that are very determined and, and very strong-willed and got a lot of heart. So it's going to be whoever can really perform the best. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? This How is it. You? This is it. This is it. Last day, baby. Woo. How you feeling? Woo. Ready. You guys excited? Very excited. Is everybody very feeling excited. OK from their sushi? I feel awesome. Are you going to miss each other after this is over? I think he's gonna miss fighting with me. I mean, she, she, she I think so think. too. Now, Ryan, are you are you happy that the whole time these two have been battling it out, you've kind of like slipped under the radar? Yeah, because that just allows me to keep my focus. See, That's he's keeping his focus. That's oh, the focus downfall. will be his downfall. Yeah, he's gonna focus mm -hmm. and focus and, a little bit. Too. I don't think a focus can be a downfall. Yeah, exactly. I'm with him. Anthony, think this stuff out. You're on TV. So everybody's okay? Everybody's fine. Are up. you guys ready to see your final stunt? We are ready, Joe. Here is your final stunt. You will each have to walk out on that six inch wide beam and retrieve flags one at a time and place them on the wall behind you. Now here's the catch. On go, the wall will start moving, eventually pushing you off that beam. Whoever can complete this stunt the fastest or get the most flags the fastest before falling will walk away with the title of Fear Factor Champion and $50,000. Let's do it. We have randomly selected today's order. And Anthony, my confident friend, <laughs> you are lucky number one. Yes, sir. Are you Let's ready? I'm ready. Come Let's with me. Go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. It's not going to happen. This is too big to be able to move around That's that right. thing. That's, That's why I'm going to add it. I got the flexibility. I got this in my pocket, baby. All right, Anthony, are you afraid of heights? You can tell me. No one's around, man. You can tell nah, me. No, I'm good, man. Now, Anthony, I know you have a daughter. Oh, man, my daughter is the most, she's the most beautiful thing in the whole world. You want to say hi to her? Hey, Jazzy, it's Daddy. How you doing, little mama? I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Who are you worried about most? Myself, really. I'm not really concerned about the other contestants. Kayla just wants to beat you. You know that. Yeah, I'm her motivation. What can I say? I'll beat them both, and then that'll be a wrap. And that'll be a wrap. So says Anthony. Good luck. Let's handle it. All right. All right. All right, give me some predictions. What's going to happen? Pay all to your best friend, Anthony. I think he'll probably fall. You're a surfer, right? Yeah. Do you think that's going to help you here? I definitely would say that's going to help me here. I mean, you must have really good balance. How often do you surf? I try to get it a couple times a week. All right, this is it. Anthony, are you ready? You are going first. Set the bar high. Payola's rooting for you in three, two, one, go. Moving pretty quick. Oh, that thing's wiggling. Oh.
time and place them on the wall behind you. The wall will start moving, eventually pushing you off that beam. Moving pretty quick. Oh, that thing's quick. Oh. You can get back up. You can get back up! Oh, that thing wiggles a lot. Oh, that thing is moving. Come on, Anthony, you got it, man! There you go! Whoa, whoa. Oh, he might not even get one. <laughs> that wall's sneaking up on him, too. That wall's moving. Come on, Anthony, pick it up! There you go. All right, you got one! Come on, man, that wall's closing in, let's go! Probably get to him, that's it. Come on, hustle, Anthony! You got two, come on! Come on, Anthony, hustle! That's four, let's go! Five, you got five. Oh. Six, come on, Anthony! You got it, man, let's go! Nice! Woo! Good job! Eight flags in 125.2! Yeah, baby! That's how you do that fifth at the start! Ah, oh, I got to the middle of that beam. All of a sudden, it felt like it was a 10.2 on the Richter scale. I started wobbling out of control. I fell down to my knees, and I just had to get back up on my feet. Next thing you know, I got the flags, and I was flying. Payola. What do you think? It's gonna be a tough competition. Who yes. are you worried about most, Anthony or Ryan? Ryan, more. Yeah, I think he's a little bit more balanced he is a surfer. than Anthony. Yeah, he's a surfer, he snowboards as well. Take your time, relax, you'll be all right. You know, it's all about concentration. Oh, I know yeah. all about concentration. We'll see what happens when you get out there and you do your thing. We will see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Right, you feel confident right now? Yes, you gonna handle this I'm pressure? I'm very confident. You ready to take it home? I'm ready to take all right, the $50, Anthony did a good job. He got all eight flags in 125.2. It's a pretty good bar. You know, you got to get them all, and you got to get them faster than that. Yes. And then you have to worry about Ryan. Good luck. Thank you. All right. All right, Paola, are you ready? Time to beat is 125.2. I'm going to count you down. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Nice right, up. The wall's moving. She's looking pretty calm. The little baby said, wow, she's putting her feet right next to each other. She's got little feet. Maybe that might help her. I don't, I don't think she's going to do it. Come on, Payola! She looks scared, though. I don't know if she's scared or she's just concentrating. Come on, Payola! You got to pick up the pace! That's it! That's it! Oh, here she goes. That's the way to walk. That's the way to do it. You gotta pick it up, girl! Come on! Come on, faster! Over a minute in! Come on, Payola! You can do it! You got three, you need five more! Four! Come on, Payola! Five! Six! Come on! Pick it up! Seven! One more! One more! How was it? It was rough. Was it rough? It was rough. Well, how do you think you did? I don't think I did good at all. You don't think you did good? No. Anthony, how do you think she did? I think she did cool. I think she did good. She, she did cool. Well, there's less than a one second difference between you guys, eight tenths of a second. Anthony, your time was 125.2. Paola, your time was 126. So Ooh, close. Yeah! Yeah! Stumbling for that last flag, that probably did it. Nice You're shot. a good sport, though. I'm glad you guys finally made up. Truce. <sighs> are you, you going to root for Anthony or are you going to root for Ryan now? I'm going to root for both. They're both great competitors. Oh, so. what a good answer. All right, Paola, it was very nice meeting you. It's nice having you on the show. I hope you had fun. That's it for you. Take it easy. See you later, Paola. I'm happy at least that I finished all my sons and I never quit. And nobody's gonna be able to take that satisfaction away from me and there's nothing that's gonna bring me down. Eight tenths of a second, dude, by the hair of your chinny chin chin. But now here's Ryan sitting pretty in the best seat of the house. Head out there and win 50,000. Yes, sir. Good luck. 
Anthony, you nervous? I did what I was supposed to do, setting the bar high, and I'm hoping he can't beat that. We are gonna find out momentarily. It's down to the wire now. It's down to the wire. All right, Ryan, are you ready? This is it. Your time to beat is 125.2. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. There he goes. Oh, he looks very calm. He's going surfer sideways the whole way. He's a little wiggly there. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, Ryan. You got to pick up the pace, man. Oh, a lot of wobbling. That's one. He's taking his time now. He's taking his time. He's a little faster than this. Still got seven flags to go. Here comes number two. Here you go, Ryan. Pick up the pace, buddy. That's two. Six more to go. Three. There you go. Here comes four. Come on, Ryan. Ooh, close. Five. Three more, Ryan. Six. He ain't gonna get it. Seven. Looks close, man. Ryan, welcome back. How do you think you did? I was a little squirrely at the beginning, and I almost lost it. There's like a sweet spot on there where that thing just starts going all over the place. I think I caught myself, and then I think I, I picked up the pace pretty good. What do you think, Anthony? I don't think you got it, brother. Your time to beat was 125.2. Your time was 114.7. Oh! Congratulations! Oh my God. You got past Woo! being locked out of the car. You got past Fear Factor Sushi. You got the best time here, and you are our Fear oh. Factor champion. Woo! Congratulations, and evidently fear is not a factor for you. Woo! That was for you, Carolina. Hi, Carolina. People will do anything for money. Fear Factor continues next, only on Schiller. Scary Good. Their stories became Hollywood's most terrifying films. Now, Schiller investigates what really happened. This is the spot where you saw Mothman. Hear the amazing truth from the people who were there. Unbelievable secrets. Startling new evidence. There's like a whole tribe of Indians buried here. Real Fear, the truth behind the movies, premieres tomorrow at 8, only on Schiller. Scary Good.